Hello and welcome to quick tutorial on helping you sculpt in Blender. So first thing I see people trying to start sculpting, they're using a default cube, subdividing it, applying the subdivision, maybe deleting the things they don't need and going to sculpting mode. This is a good w way to start it. There's a much faster way of doing it. It's just in a splash screen. You can choose from new files, a sculpting, and you can already go and sculpt. The only thing is that you're gonna be missing is you're not gonna have a lot of work spaces. So you can just add which ones you need, usually the layout and Maybe if you're gonna texture, you're gonna need UV editing and texture painting, but usually like these things for the scope is enough. So this is a bit faster way of just going in and sculpting, especially if you're doing like a speed sculpt, you're not even gonna need to add any work places. And the second tip is using brush settings. The thing I see the most is using like extremely strong brushes like sculpt draw and have it on a big strength and trying to do a small changes to the face it's gonna be extremely hard to control and the smoothing is not gonna help you a lot that's why i recommend people always changing the strength usually that is enough you don't have to worry about other things but just by changing the strength you're gonna have a way better um, control over the brush and the things you do in your scope. Another thing really important for sculpting is keeping the balance between how many ver vertices you're having for the one mesh. Let's say this type of mesh is definitely not enough for me to start detailing the eyes because I'm not gonna have enough to create an accurate shape of what I'm going. So always try to keep the balance between the vertices where you can detail the things as you want, but it's not too heavy where it becomes very hard for you to control it. Another big mistake I see quite often is that people keep uh, subdividing their mesh, adding more polys and trying to add small details already when the big details are not finished so when you're gonna add like small details very early to the mesh it's gonna be very hard for you to keep accurately changing the proportion of the model so just keep in mind always try to finish the base proportions well so then you can add a small detail or it's gonna be impossible to control Another thing I see people not doing is changing your focal length. I usually like my focal length at 85, 75. Um, by default, it's set to 50, which if you get close to the face, the face is definitely going to start looking more. And uh, controlling the volume is going to be definitely very hard. So I usually recommend you changing from like 70 to 100. So I use the middle of it, um, 85, and that makes it uh, way more visible and easier for me to control the shapes and the volumes the way I want them. One of the biggest reasons why your mesh becomes bumpy is probably you're using a dying topper. That's why I don't recommend you using for the beginners. Try using voxel remesher, but be very careful with how much uh, details you're adding okay so if you're actually decide and still using a dian topo keep uh, detailing on the constant that way your mesh floods gonna be the same size and you're not gonna have to be dealing with as much of the bumpiness as you would usually have to if you see how it differs the mesh it will definitely make uh, faces bumpier that's why I really don't recommend using Dian Topo. 
in some cases it, it is very useful tool but if you're a beginner try straying for staying away from it and using a voxel remesh the second thing is that if you actually choose to keep using uh, small details on the model you're probably gonna get a bumpiness in your mesh and that definitely shows that you're not being a too great of the sculptor um, there are a few th ways of fixing the pumpiness in your mesh the most known is the smooth but the smooth can do so much the other things is that the blender added a very good um, flattening some of the tools one of my favorite is script just keep in mind that the script takes away some of the mesh so you will start losing the volume if you're using the script too often but usually if you're scraping the mesh um, and then just moving you can get rid of the most bumpiness in your mesh and keep your mesh straight and nice having your mesh separated is another good thing because you can keep the balance of vertices so let's say the body and the legs um, need a different way of details usually you would even separate the head from the body because the head needs more details than the body itself um, but in this case i have only few separations but i still um, can detail and keep the balance of the vertices quite optimized so the blender doesn't lag as well as when i'm sculpting one thing um, my vertices are not that high and the blender will not have so much difficulty to calculating and if i have everything connected and try to sculpt on one thing uh, blender will definitely have a hard time another very important thing for sculptors is using reference images try to keep your reference image at high quality mine is a bit low um, even if i'm not sculpting the totally same face as in the reference image i still have a very easy way to see how a correct face would look like so even if if i'm not copying the shape extremely correctly i can still uh, notice how the faces form and i will have a better understanding while sculpting especially if you're new to blender i definitely recommend you testing all of the brushes good test would be sculpting the task you already know quite well so let's say i know the faces quite well um, the head i would choose usually one or two brushes let's say layer and blob and i will try to sculpt the whole face using only these two brushes well always use grab but let's say if you're using sculpt draw and draw sharp and then the grab you're probably gonna be pretty limited and you're not gonna get a best result if you're if you don't know other tools um so like for drawing a crevices i usually use like three tools one is like make a big shape by sculpting draw another one is using sharp and then creasing uh, creasing this deafness and then even smoothing but let's say i only use one tool and then another one for something else and i i don't know how to use another tools that definitely gonna limit on how well i can uh, shape the head for the bonus tip i have a recommendations for changing your matcaps i usually never work with studio i always use the matcaps blender by default has a few useful matcaps but usually uh, i feel like faster for them um, my friend has created few 
very nice looking madcaps. I think I'm using this one the most. Um, but definitely this one is good too. Basically all of them. Like this look, looks like a wet clay. Uh, so even by by sculpting the model and changing a matcap even in the middle of sculpting you can kind of see our model through another view uh, and that's really helpful um, so i'm gonna leave a link in the description for downloading these matcaps um, so yeah guys uh i think that's it for the tips uh Thank you so much for watching, uh, I hope you liked it and I guess see you next time.